YouTube, Facebook. What's up? It's me, Old Wavy, and I'm back. Um, they can't see you. What do you mean they can't see me? I'm doing that thing again? Pretty much. All right, YouTube, hold, hold on for a second. There, that, that's better. Yeah, I'm back. It's Old Wavy. Sorry. Uh, I just got finished with a brush session. You know how you, you get in that zone when you're brushing your hair and and the world just starts to fade away and it's just you, your brush, and that mirror. Because I know you all brushing in the mirror at all times when you can. This video is going to be about do-rags. But before I start talking about the do-rags, I want to do something that I kind of do in some of my other videos, but I'm going to focus on it every couple of videos. I want to do a spotlight. What I want to do is spotlight another waiver on YouTube that I watch their videos whenever they put out a new video I watch them and they give some valuable information and a lot of good pointers this week I want to focus on, on spotlight RG3 I'm gonna put a video bubble like right up here of her site she does her best to give you tips on how to improve your waves and some of those tips, I mean, they were just great. She, she's got this one video where she, she talks about vertical brushing and I started vertical brushing right after a video and it might be my imagination, but I can see improvements already from the vertical brushing. I had this thing, it was like Horace's eye in the middle of my head up top. I, I kid you not, it, in the mirror to me, it looked like an eye. And I started the vertical brushing and it's, it's just about gone already and I've only been doing it for a couple of days. So now let's, let's go ahead and get on to the, the, the main topic of this video which is do-rags. I've seen a lot of posts and stuff about do-rags. I've seen some videos. Uh, I'm not going to touch on what they touch on that much but I, I just want to point out some of my observations about do rags. So far in my journey, I have four types of do rags. The first one is a cloth spandex do rag. It, it stretches. Yeah, we're not going to talk about this too much because this is, in my opinion, garbage. I don't ever buy a spandex do rag. And if you do, use it for what I use mine for now. When, when I do a hot oil treatment or deep conditioning, I put the, the spandex do-rag on top of the shower cap just because I, I really don't care about that do-rag. Um, the thing that really messed me up with those do-rags is I put it on one night and I went to sleep and I kid you not, the do-rag got tighter and tighter as the night went on and I just kept waking up because it, it was so tight and I'd have to loosen it go back to sleep, wake up again because it tightened again. Don't mess with the spandex do-rags. They're just no good. The spandex do-rags, I'll say they fall in the class of cloth do-rags along with the next group of do-rags I'm going to show, which are, these are wave builder do-rags. This is, I consider it a cloth do-rag. I don't know what material it's made of. Um, this one's the seamless. I like the seamless aspect of it, but it, it's a cloth do-rag. This is another Wave Builder one. It's just a different color. It's blue, and it's actually got the seam on it. The, the thing with cloth do-rags, um, and why I don't recommend wearing them, unless with like the seamless one, if you're in the morning and you've already done your little, uh, you, you've already done your brush session and you're doing your little 15 minute compression or whatever before you go, 15, 20 minute compression before you go out the door and, and you don't want a line on your head, this would be great for that. But cloth do-rags, what they do is if you wear them at night, and, and most people, I believe, like me, you, you put your products in at night most of the time, like your moisturizers and so forth, because then, then you got eight hours for it to to set in and really really get in there and absorb into your scalp and so forth 
with, with cloth do rags, you're pretty much wasting your product because cloth do rags suck the product right out of your head. I mean, you wake up in the morning and your head feels dry. So if you've ever woken up in the morning and your head feels dry, it's, it might be because of the type of do rag that you're wearing. <laughs> All right, the next type of do rags we're going to talk about are the satin do rags. Now, people call they they talk about satin and silk do rags, but it it's really not a good way to describe them. I guess we'll we'll keep going with it because satin is actually a weave of material and silk is actually a fabric. So you could have a satin silk weave or would that be a silk satin weave? And these are, are really good because uh, I take them as a step down right below the silk do rags because they they don't cause as much friction on your head when you're wearing them. So it, it's better for your hair and they don't seem to absorb the products that you put in your hair as much. Silk ones would be the best for not absorbing products and and for the least amount of friction. They also have some other benefits, but I have yet to find a silk do-rag. If you guys know of anywhere where I can get a silk do-rag, put, put a comment below and let me know. The fourth, the fourth do-rag that I'm gonna talk about is, it's the silky do-rag. Not to be confused with a silk do-rag because this thing cost me about two, three bucks. If it was really silk, it would have cost a lot more than two, three bucks for the, for the do-rags. These are probably, in my opinion, the best to wear at night because, once again, I think this is like a, a satin silk weave. So it's, it's got the least amount of friction of the ones I've got and it absorbs the least amount of my product. So I try to wear these at night when I go to sleep. I try to wear the silky ones and then during the day when I'm out and about uh, I wear the the satin if you will ones I, I don't know I'm, I'm assuming that most of them are made out of polyester but I don't know the fabrics because a lot of people uh, a lot of durag companies don't actually tell you what fabric it's made out of and the ones that do it's usually polyester um, this one I believe is a we're back to the satin ones this one is a wave enforcer and this one is 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 my favorite type of uh, company do-rag is that so many waves do-rag that you can get at wavesrus.net um, they're just made better the stitching is better they don't they don't pull apart it's like they actually took care of making them most of these do-rags I mean if you wear them long enough the front will start separating on you you get some tears down in here and they're just a slightly lower quality than the so many waves do-rags that I like to wear see I told you this was gonna be a really short video um, before before I wrap this one up, I was on Facebook the other day, and uh, I'm new to Facebook. I signed up what, a couple of weeks ago. Never been on Facebook before, <laughs> and uh, I'm on one of the wave pages, and a guy posts something that that I'm gonna try and carry on because <laughs> it was too good. He said, "You know you're a waver when you have to put on a do rag." To put on your shirt <laughs> and I thought that was I I fell out laughing when I read that so uh, if you would help me continue this with the you know you're a waiver when line and post one in the comments I'm gonna go with you know you're a waiver when the first and last thing you look for when you're going out the door is your travel brush forget about the keys I can walk to wherever I'm going I need my little orphan Annie so that I can lay down on little stray hairs during the course of the day. If you've got any, post them down below and we'll see what we can come up with. For now, I'm all wavy 
and I'm out. Stay brushing.